All right, everyone. So here is going to be a little bit of a uh, guide on how you can make some really easy money as a warrior. Um, most boosting um, classes are actually better as like mages um, than warriors are, but this is a way that I have found that works really well, um, and you can make a lot of money. So I am in Grobulus, Alliance side. Um, Stockades is actually a really good boost. Uh, it goes all the way up from 15 to uh, about 30 is uh, where you start um, kind of losing um, your XP and stuff like that. But uh, I charge uh, three gold per run. Um, most of them are two gold, but um, if you can see, I'll, I'll go really fast in here. Um, so it's basically just helping people with their time. So we'll get started. So you're gonna charge it as soon as you can And every single target I hit, I hit him with a hamstring. Um, the hamstring is basically just to keep them tight because they will start walking away with you, um, from you at like 10 um, percent health, I think, or something like that. So instead of them walking away easily, I keep them grouped up. And then you're basically going to do bloodthirst as much as you possibly can. Um, and you're also going to do whirlwind. So um, once you have like a crap ton of rage, which I do right now, um, oops. make sure you put it on free for all loot. So I do three gold per run. Um, three, uh, free for all loot, so I don't loot anything they do. Um, so it's actually a really good way of boosting too, um, because you, if you're looting all of the stuff, um, you can actually get basically your your money back for the runs by just loot, selling the loot. Uh, so at the end here, if you see this guy, he's the Pat. Um, so he's down that way, so we're going to go that way. And we have to kill him so that it doesn't kill our boosters. But like I said, every time you get a chance, make sure you are using Bloodthirst. Um, hamstringing these enemies so that they can't get away from you. Not ready yet. I can't do that yet. And that was the hallway clear. Just make sure you get the cat. Try and stay sideways the whole time again. You just literally walk room to room. You see, I, I'm not really losing health. I don't have a healer that's healing me. I'm just literally bloodthirsting. That's it. So I do have, um, I'll show you my gear after this run just to show you you can do it too. Um, I do have Stronghold Arms, which are really good um, for immune to disarming. So this one here, uh, these guys do actually take your main, main hand away from you. Um, so if you do want to be immune to disarm, just makes it go faster, plus you can get you know, more fighting and stuff like that, taxing. Hamstring does proc the Crusader, so I do have Crusader on both weapons, which is just makes it nice. And there's no mage that can really um, do this uh, in a one cool dungeon, so that's why I beat them. Um, as far as time, they uh, they can't beat me. I'm at about a six minute run. Start to finish. 
so obviously you gotta collect the gold. So that's the one wing, and then we're gonna go to the other other wing. So like I said, I barely lost any health. Like I lost like 200 health, um, and I'm gonna get it all back by the time that I start back again. Um, sometimes you do get hit. Um, this side is, I think, the worst side. Um, the left, the right side is a little bit worse. These guys with the big uh, maces they do stun you. So, um, they do have a bunch of um, defense gear, which is nice. Um, it does protect you. So I wear like basically my tank set that I have on my warrior just for the higher stand and plus defense. You always want to be hitting these dudes. So try and stay sideways if you can just to keep building rage. You always want to time like, um, like a cleave or a whirlwind after bloodthirst so that every time you have a bloodthirst you can get multiple enemies and get that health really quick and regenerating back. This, um, I think this is this rogue here. He's actually not really being a, a good sport. He really should be staying back. Because um, unfortunately, these guys, like, they'll run away. Um, and when they run away, they'll go to, like, these other rooms and they'll start aggroing. Well, as soon as they come out of here, they'll go straight for him because he's a level. Um, and look, I didn't even lose any help. That's it. So, um, yeah. Let me uh, let me go over my gear. So, uh, stronghold gauntlets. That's just for the immune to disarm. Uh, Crusader on both. How of these. generous. Um, Black ants breath. And justice, it's basically getting six percent hit. I think you only need five for this, anyways. But and then the rest is crit. Um, my defense stats, I'm at 347, uh, which is pretty decent. Um, and then it's just some wrap gear and stuff for stamina and all that stuff. So um, yeah, so I charge three gold per run. Um, you can do five runs per hour. Um, and make really good gold um, per day. Uh, you can get up to 30 runs per day uh, with the instant locks. So um, just something that, you know, for you Alliance Warriors, this is a really good farm. Um, and you can definitely do three gold per run um, to get, get a lot of money. So um, if you, need, you need money in this game, and Warriors are really hard to do it. So, um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's how it is. So appreciate you guys digging the... Uh, watch my video and uh, like, subscribe, uh, let me know if you want anything else.